Uh, I'm sorry, this is Erica Nicholas. Thank you. Hi, Erica Nicholas of in Sherwood Forest. Uncertainty is the word that often comes to my mind when I think of the state of current affairs. And you know what our brains like? They like certainty. I know, I'm a mental health professional. We like knowing what's on the other side of a decision. And naturally, when uncertainty is present, fear sets in. We feel vulnerable. We respond by pulling in the reins. We protect ourselves, we protect our families. We hold on tight to our assets and we prepare. It's not, nat it's all not only natural, it's instinctual. Let's be honest, for hardworking individuals, it feels like a lot to ask for additional ta uh, tax dollars on top of our daily battles in this uncertain life. Our instinct is to hold these dollars tight and to keep the wallets closed. My mom is 80. She owns a home here in Anderson. I asked her about the levy. She said to me, this is really hard. You know, we talked about it. I know it's hard. She's retired. She's on a fixed income but yet she's still voting yes for this levy. Granted, she's got kids in this district, and so she has a vested interest. I get it. Let's be honest, there's many of us here that are very much know how we're gonna vote, but for those of you that are ambivalent, those that are on the fence, I ask that you consider the longer term investment. Folks, Thank you very much. when we limit our kids, we limit, when we limit any child, we limit any individual. Ms. Nicholas, thank you very much. Everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes.